In this video, we will be covering maxillary first premolars. The maxillary first premolars are tooth numbers 5 and 12 in the universal numbering system. We'll be discussing tooth number 5 today. Maxillary first premolars begin calcification at 18 to 24 months. The crown completes its formation at 5 to 6 years. The tooth erupts at 10 to 11 years old. And lastly, the root completes formation at 12 to 13 years old. Let's start from the buccal view. Here we can see that the tooth has a trapezoidal or pentagonal shape, similar to the canines. We can also see that the mesial slope is longer than that of the distal slope. This is the only premolar where this is the case. Because of this, the buccal cusp tip is located distally to the midline. This is unlike the lingual cusp tip, which is located mesially to the midline. This is the largest of all the premolars. At the cervical line, you can also see a slight curvature going apically. The first maxillary premolar has a prominent buccal cusp ridge. The mesial and distal height of contour for all posterior teeth, including the maxillary first premolar, is in the middle third. Moving on to the mesial aspect, we can see how the tooth has a trapezoidal shape. It is also very constricted around the CEJ. Also, take note of the cusp heights. The buccal cusp is slightly taller than the lingual cusp. The cusps are also centered above their respective root axis, as well as being within the confines of the root trunk. Generally, maxillary premolar cusps have a larger angle between the cusps than the mandibular premolar cusps. Most importantly, there is a deep mesial developmental depression between the contact area and the CEJ. This is the only premolar that has this trait. This depression extends onto the mesial aspect of the root to the bifurcation. If you can remember this, you can tell this premolar apart from other premolars, and you can tell the mesial and distal side apart as well. Now, looking at the lingual side, we can see the lingual cusp is shorter than the buccal cusp. However, the maxillary premolar buccal and lingual cusps are more similar in height than the mandibular premolar's buccal and lingual cusps. We can also see that this tooth has a lingual convergence, where the lingual surface is slightly narrower than the buccal surface. The lingual cusp is located mesially to the midline. As a reminder, this is opposite of the buccal cusp, which is located distally to the midline. Onto the distal side, when compared to the mesial side, the distal has less anatomical features. The distal aspect usually does not have a distal developmental depression. The distal root trunk does not have a developmental groove that is found on the mesial aspect. The cervical line is straighter on the distal aspect than the mesial aspect. Compared to the mesial side, the distal side is smooth and convex. Now, moving on to the occlusal surface. The maxillary first premolar has a hexagonal shape from the occlusal aspect. We can see the lingual convergence very clearly on the surface, as the lingual cusp is narrower than the buccal cusp. The buccal cusp is larger, taller, and sharper than the lingual cusp. The buccal cusp even forms more of a triangular shape compared to the lingual cusp, which has a semicircular shape. On the lateral sides of this view, we can see a mesial marginal ridge and a distal marginal ridge. The mesial marginal ridge is taller than the distal marginal ridge. We can see the buccal and lingual triangular ridge in the center. The lingual triangular ridge is less prominent than the buccal triangular ridge. Here is the central groove, mesial buccal groove, and distal buccal groove with the mesial marginal ridge developmental groove, which is an extension of the central groove. This is the only premolar that has a groove that runs over the occlusal surface to the mesial marginal ridge. The occlusal aspect also has a distal and mesial pit, in addition to a distal and mesial triangular fossa. Now, we'll take a look at the pulp and roots. The maxillary first premolar typically has two roots, a buccal and lingual root. This tooth is most frequently bifurcated, 
but also can have a single root or laminated or fused roots. However, regardless of the number of roots, this tooth usually has two root canals and two pulp horns. The buccal root is the longer root, and the lingual root trunk is the larger root trunk buccal lingually. The root tips can incline distally, buccally, or lingually, making this tooth particularly difficult to extract. This was our review of the maxillary first premolar. Check out the rest of our dental anatomy videos on mydentalkey.com. The 3D images used in this video today were brought to you by Bonebox. Bonebox is a great resource for learning dental anatomy. Check them out on the App Store today.